Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rules. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot coming with your reading for January 4th through the 10th, 2021. Please excuse my absence. I had some technical issues, some personal issues. I've been gone about six weeks, but I am back and we're going to jump right into this. I'm using my Major Arcana deck to show what's happening this week. So balance and momentum the chariot card you know it's it's a victorious card but you know some information is going to be coming to you this week right things are going to happen at a fast pace excuse me i have small hands and i'm going to draw a couple of additional cards here We have the world card, completion, a brilliant success, a time for joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. So the world is at your hand. The dreamer, which is the fool card. Um, I like that it has me here. So it's all about yourself, Taurus. It's a new start. Trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith so whatever you you're thinking about doing taurus this is your time to step into that to step into whatever it is you want to do um, if you're waiting on a new job i feel like something's going to happen for you um that may require you to have a leap of faith to take a chance some news is coming some good news good fortune is coming Listen to your intuition, Taurus. I'm just going to draw subconscious, conscious, and advice from spirit, and then I'll clarify those cards. I am not reading reversals. Unless spirit tells me to read reversals. <laughs> what I want to do and what they want me to do are two different things. So we have the Ace of Wands, right? Blossoming, new projects, in inspiration, something new that's going to require this leap of faith. In our conscience, we have the Nine of Pentacles. In our advice for spirit, uh, we have the Lover's card here. So outcome slash advice from spirit. Now let's clarify. We have the Seven of Pentacles clarifying that Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Cups clarifying this Nine of Pentacles. And we have Temperance. I'm going to leave it reverse, clarifying this Lover's card. Just curious. So we have the Universe card uh, at the bottom of the deck because the Universe is the World card, and I just spirit told me to look at it and so there it is so you have the world twice so very pivotal moment for you uh things are going to come to head this week so some decisions to be making advice from spirit here um nothing bad in terms of relationship but just let's just get into it so we have the ace of wands so in our subconscious mind, we're having a lot of ideas, right? Ideas of what we want to do, who we want to be, where we want to live. Just, it's an inspirational time for you, right? Because again, it's the beginning of the year, so it makes sense. We are all full of hopes and dreams and possibilities. Um, but just remember, you don't need the beginning of the year to do that. You can do that any time in your life. Uh, change is when you want it. It's not just because it's January 1st, but we just tend to put them together the first of the year with new beginnings. Clarifying this Ace of Wands is the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles, Pentacles are is money, is, is, is earthly, uh, is earthbound things of comfort. Um, so we're worried about delayed success or we're waiting, you know, patience is not a, a tourist trait that we have. But, you know, this is telling us that we need to have patience at this time. Opportunity will knock, but when it's the right time for you. So when the right time for you to take all that inspiration, take those dreams and and put it uh, a plan into action rather than just, than just leaping into things. 
consciously with this nine of pentacles you are working towards your goals i mean this is um this is luxury this is financial gain right this is about you know uh self pleasures this is you being self-indulgent and having the means to do it and this may come with this chariot card this is financial gain coming for you now clarifying that is the five of cups now the five of cups is about loss it's about feeling abandoned or unloved you cannot let that feeling of loneliness take over your blessings because it we have a tendency uh, as humans to block our blessings by being in our own way being stuck in the past being stagnant waiting you know you have to learn how to let things go because you're out here in the desert the water's waiting for you right there but you haven't turned back or you haven't turned towards your blessing your blessings coming don't miss it in the advice column so we have the lover's card here so it, it could mean great fortune in your lover it could mean that balance of having a partnership um, to to make and fulfill your dreams so maybe you're dreaming of marriage maybe you're just dreaming of a, a partner who will help you and support you in your endeavors here present in the advice slash outcome column if you're not in a relationship you're going to have a relationship if you're in a relationship it's going to bring you the support and balance you need now i left this card reversed because for me um spirit told me to leave it reverse even though i said i wasn't uh reversing cards here so we have the temperance card so it's a disruptive energy right so the advice from spirit is don't let you, you being hung up in the past disrupt your blessing this is literally in the outcome column what i said here uh, and I didn't even realize that until I looked here. Um, this is literally saying, don't let your past hold you back from your blessing because you will miss it if you get stuck in your way. Um, I, and to me, that is a powerful statement because many of us get stuck in our own way and miss our blessings. The blessing is coming. Don't miss, don't miss the opportunity here. We have the world card here twice so something big is coming something life-changing life-changing where you're gonna have luxuries you're gonna have a moment to breathe but just don't miss it and let's see what spirit has for us what if i'm right what if i'm right and my blessings are coming what if i'm right and i take the chance be the dreamer listen to um this fertile time in my life and chase that dream and not be hung up what if you take that chance what if you follow that spiral to success and not get stuck in charlotte's web that is for you taurus uh for january 4th through the 10th i'm delilah rose and this is delilah's spiritual spot